Hey ladies, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's inspired by the 1950s where everything was just so classic and beautiful. The hair that I'm wearing is from Irresistible Me and this is their clip-in extensions and I'm absolutely in love with them so I decided to do a pinup along with a makeup look. So let's begin this video. First thing, I've already went ahead and applied my foundation and my eyebrows and I'm going to be using my favorite beauty sponge which is Real Techniques along with my Maybelline Master Concealer. I'm going to apply that to my lids. Along with that, I'm going to also be using my LA Colors Mineral Facial Powder. This is just a plain facial powder and I'm going to apply that to my entire lid because I want a neutral lid. Back in the 50s, they didn't have so much eyeshadow. So right now, I'm applying my Eyebrow Trio, which is a great brow free eyebrow trio which is a great brow filler I got this out of my box the charm box the charm box and I'm going to put that in at the crease of my eye and just brush it and kind of like blend it in you want it to be very soft and subtle because they weren't like really big on eyeshadow and such back in that era one of my new favorite eyeliner pencils is the Milani eye tech extreme and this is just like a very thin marker to bring attention to my eyelids, I'm going to make a strong winged out eye look. And if you're not really great with any type of winged out look, I would highly suggest trying out this eye pencil. I'm going to go in very thin on the inner duct of my topper eyelid, on my top eyelid. And at the ends, I'm going to make the wing really thick. And just for a little highlight under my brow, I'm going to be using my Too Faced eyeshadow which is kind of like a really taupe sparkly color. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to apply some white, which is by NYX, and this is just to brighten my eyelids up and to also make them appear much bigger. This also makes you look more awake and your eyes wider. Applying my YSL mascara, which I absolutely love, and I'm going to be coating my top and bottom lashes. For my bottom lash, I'm going to be using Benefits Their Real Mascara. I love this mascara because the brush is really kind of slender at the end, which makes a great application for lower lashes. You don't get any kind of mascara residue onto your skin. And I do apologize about my camera. It has to do with the sunlight right behind my camera, as you can see my facial expression. Now, just for a little bit of contouring, nothing heavy, I'm going to be using L'Oreal True Match in Cool Deep. I normally use the cocoa one, but I went a little darker, and I'm going to just sweep that over the entire portion of my forehead and my cheek area. To make my cheeks pop, I'm going to go ahead in with my Maybelline Master Concealer and this is in the color medium. And I'm just going to blend that into the contour area just so the lines don't look so harsh along with my Beauty Blender or basically my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. A little contour for my nose area. This is Fashion Fair's um, foundation stick in the color number Teak. It is a little darker than my skin complexion, but you do need to make sure that you blend it out really, really well. And upon on top of that, I'm going to be applying that same L'Oreal True Match facial powder in the color Cool Deep. To set my makeup, I'm going to be using Milani's Multitasker Facial Powder. And along with that, Drew Barrymore's Flower Cosmetics Highlighter Chubby, which you can also find at any drugstore or your local Walmart. To bronze my face, I'm using Model Company's Bronzer, which I absolutely love. And I've also received this in my BoxyCharm monthly subscription. And just for some color to my cheek, Coral Cove by Milani is a great finish to my face, along with one of my favorite highlighters, which is MAC Skin Finish, Mineralized Skin Finish in Porcelain Pink. This color gives my face a radiant glow, which I absolutely love. To line my lips, I decided to use Milani's Bordeaux, which is their statement lip liner. This is like a deep dark brick red and it was very fashionable back in the 50s for red. But to make my bottom lower lip look a little bit plumper, I'm going to be applying 
uh, sugar melted by Too Faced. It's time to do the hair and like I said this is my extensions from Irresistible Me which I absolutely love. I'm going to go ahead and brush my hair and before I do that I'm going to part it. These curls are day old curls so I won't really have to do much. I'm going to section my hair off in three sections. Two sections in the front and one section is going to have more hair on one, on one particular side and I'm going to just pull my hair back into kind of like a ponytail just to get it out of my way so that I can go ahead and do the front brushing forward with my front arm um, with my vent brush I'm going to go ahead and use my huge Clairol curling iron and I'm going to go ahead and curl the hair backwards away from my face Just to set the curl, I'm going to be using some really large duck bill pins or duck pins just to hold the curl in place. It doesn't have to be neat because I'm just using this to hold the curl and let the, the hair set. I'm going to be doing the same to the other side. Along with that, I'm going to go ahead and curl the hair backwards. And as you can see, I'm brushing the hairs. I should have did that on the opposite side, but I'm brushing my hair, which will also give it a neater appearance. And I'm going to go ahead and set those curls. Now for the back portion of my hair, I'm going to use my Lisa Ray flat iron. You can get this from sisterwigs.com. This is really inexpensive and this is like a great flat iron. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and create some curls with this flat iron because it takes like no time. And I'm going to do that into the entire back area of my head that you see me use. Well, basically that you see me push back. And I'm going to be using some of my Aussie hairspray, which is instant freeze, the aerosol can. I absolutely love it. It will hold your hair in place. Now, in order for me to get the victory curl or the victory roll in the front, I'm going to do it a little bit different and still give it that vintage look. Spraying a little hairspray and brushing my hair to make sure that none of the hairs are flyaways. You can always use hairspray or a good pomade. I'm going to go ahead and brush the hair downward as well as inward so that way it's all neat and there are no small strands. And I'm going to take that hair and wrap it around my finger and then just kind of like wrap it to the side making sure that the hair stays neatly intact because I do have shorter hairs. As you can see, I went ahead and brushed that and rolled it. And all you gotta do is just kinda like roll it around your hand and then take some bobby pins and make sure that your bobby pins are well concealed. And you'll probably need about a good, I would say like a good four bobby pins for this look for one side because you need to have them well concealed. Now for the next side, I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and spray, and then I'm going to twist my hair. As you see, I'm twisting kind of like inward, and I'm going to push the hair up. I don't want it to be a roll. I just want it to kind of be like a twist. So you want to twist it inward towards your head, and you want to go ahead and push that twist curl up and just pin it up. So this is the entire look for the 1950s inspired makeup tutorial and hair. If you need some clippings, make sure to check out Irresistible Me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, stay diva and divalicious and I'll see you guys on my next video. Stars shining bright above you.